Hey everybody, it's Mark with G's Bees. It's September 2021, and that's how long I've done a video. Don't even know how to act and uh, drop the camera or the phone here. So um, I've been very remiss this whole summer. I uh, have done zero video videos, zero blog posts. However, I found something I think might be worthwhile. So I um, part of what we do in the fall is feed our bees, especially in here in Virginia. Um, it's we actually had a pretty decent summer. I didn't have a lot of robbing, so now we want to make sure that we pack on the stores um, for winter. The I pulled all the honey off, so what we're really going to do is mix up sugar water. Uh, in the fall, you usually do two to one, but it's not really time to do two to one. I've got some hives that need to draw a little bit of comb, so I'm going to make one to one. So if anybody's ever fooled with sugar water, it is a pain in the butt. It gets everywhere. Uh, you got the jugs that you got to mix them up or the buckets and dump it. So I have an idea and so far it's working. So let me see if we can, uh, I don't think I can flip it around. Let's see here. We'll put you on pause and come right back. So pardon the workshop. Yep, this is my old 72 Chevrolet truck. But uh, what I've got here is a 30 gallon drum. As you can see, I got a spigot down here in the bottom and a spigot on the top. Um, but what you don't see is inside, I got a sump pump and it's gonna recycle, uh, circulate the water up here, then down to here. I'm gonna got some water in there. I'm gonna put my sugar in there, mix it up, be able to turn this on, hook up a hose, fill up my jugs or uh, since this is 110, I'm possibly going to be able to hook a generator up and go out to my out yards. I need to figure out a way to make this thing watertight so that way I can um, leave it, but uh, leave the cord out there. But right now I'm going to pull the top off. It's going to work okay now, but if I leave the top off tomorrow, the bees are going to find it. So uh, let's mix up some sugar. So everything's one to one. So it should be one pound of water, one pound of sugar, uh, 50 pounds of water, 50 pounds of sugar, one gallon of water, one gallon of sugar. So what I did um, is put a little mark right here, added water. That was uh, 25 pounds uh, of sugar that I put in. I've got another bag. It's not that exciting to uh, watch me dump sugar in. But as you can see, it's starting to mix up. There's my faithful helper, Tippy. If he's a good cat, he always helps. So I'm gonna keep mixing it up. So what I've done is I've hooked a hose up to my valve right here. I've got it turned on. Get everything going here. Put it right in my bucket. So I'm able to fill up um, the sugar water pretty quickly. Uh, I think that this is gonna be a good solution. I think I need some type of filler hose uh, besides a, a garden hose to get the, uh, the pressure quicker. But first go around, I think it's gonna work. <laughs> 